I like this song. But I like this piece and how it turned out even better. Kind of do this for a minute, see who gets on with us and who can join us on our Facebook Live. Hopefully that doesn't fall off when you apply the wax and you remove <laughs> no. it and it wiggles the dresser. So good morning. I'm not sure who's tuning in, but we appreciate your time. Um, I'm going to and of course, I'm always going to comment about my hair, right? It's like what I do. I'm Trish. I'm Hannah. Hey, and, um, Courtney. Well, yeah, is Courtney on? Yeah. Hey, Courtney, you should be with us. Happy Hip, birthday. yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> Actually, Brittany, come over. Hurry up. Oh, we're such goofs. We're geeks. Did you send her a pizza? No, because they didn't open until 4.30. Uh. What's your happy birthday? Hi, Courtney. I miss you. Please come back. I'm lonely. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so um, we were just wishing Courtney a happy birthday because she's on with us. So, And her birthday was yesterday. Was Woo! 22, 22, right? 22 now. She's an old lady. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are we doing today? We discussed Hannah. A lot of people. I'm going to go right here. Get in the picture there, girly. So uh, um, we keep doing these videos on the transfers, which are like the bomb. And people are like, okay, I think we got it down. But now what? What do you do? Like, what do you do once it's on a piece? So you always want to seal it when you use it on a piece of furniture. Um, you can either use Annie Sloan's chalk paint wax. Okay, so um, we got the wax right there. And that's what we're going to use today. Okay. And then... Next couple, week? Yep, there's a couple other different options. Artisan Enhancements has clear top coat sealer, and they have clear finish as well. So Boy, that seems week, confusing. They're both yeah. clear, and they're both by the same company. Yeah. Even though I know the answer, what's the difference? So, and talk a little louder. Right on the front of the can here, exterior grade on clear top coat sealer, not on clear finish. If you are going over a white color... You will always want to use clear top coat sealer because no. You always want to use clear finish. <laughs> Wait, <because> cut. <laughs> <laughs> clear finish is non-yellowing even over white colors. Clear top coat sealer can tend to yellow over white. Okay, and then the other thing that we may want to experiment with, boy, I, I just want air time, so I'm just gonna come on. Um, the other thing we might want to experiment with is Annie Sloan's. New 750 milliliter lacquer containers, yeah. both the matte and the gloss, because those are non-yellowing, and um, I'm not quite sure how they would work with the transfers, but we will do that as a test, and we can always maybe do something small on some sample boards yeah. next week when we come to... Yeah, so next week, I'm going to flip this around. Next week, we're doing what? We're going on a field trip? Another field trip to my house. So I have a, a piano that I use the transfers on underneath. I haven't sealed them yet. Uh, my baby's starting to pull up and touch everything, so I definitely want to get it sealed before anything happens to it. If it's not sealed, it's definitely going to be susceptible to damage. So you want to seal it in and secure your hard work. Okay, so next week when we come to your house, we're going to be using... We'll be using one of these. You'll decide. Yes. Oh, and let's point that out. So they're very similar, but yet yeah, one's for... Exterior. This one's for outside, exterior. Exterior or interior. Yep. This one is interior only. Interior only. And this is the one you want to use if you're going over white. Yes. Um, but what is the difference in the sheen between the two? So clear finish will get glossier oh, and glossier the more coats that you apply. Clear top coat sealer is a matte finish similar to what the wax would give you. Okay. If you want something glossier, you could always do three or four coats of the clear finish. It starts at like a satin and then gets glossier. And glossier. Yeah, it will get shinier with, and we're talking about the clear finish. And again, we'll recap that next week. So let's get, get on to this. Um, so this is a transfer um, that is actually now retired, right? It's yeah. no longer available, but we have at least five maybe more in house and they're available on our website so if you really love that transfer i gotta move this goat on okay if you love that transfer you better get it while it's while we still have it um we also have it on this piece over here so it's kind of interesting oh yeah to see how it stands out more on the darker colors yeah something so this piece here was painted with miss mustard seeds artissimo yep. and then it has white wax over it yep. um Actually, Courtney did this. Yeah, Courtney. Hey, Courtney, this was your piece. And um, it's really beautiful. And we love Artissimo. But this particular transfer 
really pops against um, the graphite by Annie Sloan. And this wasn't a piece that was inspired by another, yeah. another store owner. They did it, and it looked awesome. So, okay. Um, Shall we start? Yeah, let's start and yep, so um, go right ahead and do whatever you need to do. I've scooped some of the wax onto a plate here. I don't want to go directly to the can because some of that graphite chalk paint might transfer back into the clear wax. And then future projects, I might not want it to be tinted like that. Okay. So, got it separated here. This really would be the amount of wax I would use on the whole piece. So that should definitely be enough, even that small amount for an entire piece. Okay, so you're saying the amount of wax on your plate would yep. cover um, this whole, yep. the front and the sides, because we, yeah, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't do the top. top. Yeah. Okay. So I really only get a really small amount of wax, even less on my brush like that. And okay. And I really kind of lightly don't even put a lot of effort into it kind of feather it on and it does make it just a little bit more darker at least the chalk paint mm -hmm. now do you have to worry about the pressure of your brush over the transfer at all no so it's especially over a porous paint like chalk paint it's really adhered it's soaked into the paint there so I mean some of these finer more delicate areas where it's not I didn't actually press it on all the way when applying it some of those will come off, but it's a little bit of a distressed finish anyways that we're looking for. Okay. okay. I think you guys have also said in the past that when you wax, um, using a wax brush, it almost like pushes that transfer yeah, on it, even more. It helps it. It gives it an okay. extra push. Now, what about when you go to remove it? Oh, I can hear you. So you're really not, you're applying pressure. You're not yeah, really I'm worried not at all. Careful. Okay. I'm really not being delicate at all with it. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Now you had talked initially when you applied that transfer, you were not sure if you wanted to go back and touch up some areas with like a fine yeah. artist brush with white paint. You could have. Can you show us where you were, where you initially you thought about that? Yeah, if you, I mean, if you get close in there, you can see some gaps in these areas where there's a little bit of a groove on the piece of furniture. Um, if you're far back looking big picture, you don't really notice some of those mistakes. But okay. Close, yeah, there? I agree. Now it's probably not as uh obvious but the top drawer once it's wax is a little bit more intense or darker than the bottom and that's because the top has the clear wax and it's absorbed it so can you see the difference of the graphite you can right definitely there. tell in person maybe show the two drawers next to oh each yeah other. good idea so there you yeah. go so on the left is the graphite um chalk paint by annie sloan it hasn't been waxed yet and it has the transfer over it and on the right is where Hannah just applied the clear chalk paint wax. Okay, awesome. Um, hey, you guys are tuning in. Anybody have questions regarding what we're doing? So Hannah's just waxing over this piece. I should have got you a ponytail. Um, I'll be interested in you waxing that bottom cabinet door too once you get to it. Because I just want them to see how it goes over details. So hi Marlene. Marlene's tuning in from... Rick's, yeah, it's from Syracuse. Steve is watching. Steve! <laughs> Such a goofball. Um, let's see, what else? So we discussed the fact that we're applying clear wax over an iron orchid design transfer. It doesn't matter what type of transfer. We're using clear wax. Now, what about the discussion of tinted waxes? So a lot of people do use the tinted waxes over transfers. If it were me and I wanted to darken the graphite, I might apply a layer of clear first over the whole thing to add protection and then take your black wax and kind of work in the areas where the transfer is not unless you want more of a dark haze over the transfer. Um, but some people will take their wax brush, imagine if this had dark or black wax on it, just apply it in that area and wipe away from the transfer. So, so they're kind of framing it a yeah. little bit and, and more strategic so that way if you don't want a brown or black stain over the white transfer because it will probably pick up on it. Yeah. Do you mind doing that bottom cabinet door for us? I do. That would be fantastic. And so, again, we're using Annie Sloan's Chalk Paint Clear Wax. Next Friday, we're going to go to Hannah's house. We'll do a field trip. She um, painted and she put transfers on her piano at home. Hannah's actually quite a really awesome musician. Maybe you could even play a song for us wow. and sing. She's got a great voice. It's always a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to liquor her up. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, we'll bring Margarita Mix. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, so um, next week we'll show them using the Artisan Enhancement brush on top coat. Yep. But this week we're just using clear wax. And that is definitely enough to seal it and protect it. Oh, yeah. And you can really see, I think, the clear wax and how when the chalk paint absorbs it, it you can see how it's going to intensify the color. That's the case really over any color of Annie Sloan's products. It will will intensify it a little. It doesn't change the color at all, though. Um, if so, you use her brown, black, or white wax, that's when it does. So this is chalk paint out of the liter, so the global formula. And I really like it, I mean, when I'm waxing it especially, I can tell a lot more obviously where I missed some spots waxing and where I just need to go back and apply some more maybe there. You can definitely see the difference in the depth of color. So you mentioned that and I think we've probably, um, what's that saying about a dead horse? <laughs> Something about a dead horse. What did you say, Amy? Yeah, I think we've beat a dead horse on this, but um, at the end of 2018, Annie Sloan herself took over manufacturing and distribution for all of the countries that her product is in. And I think it's something like 40 million countries now. No, literally like 40 countries, I think, that her product is sold in. It's in, it's in Dubai. It's like in Singapore. It's in Russia. Do you know that? You're supposed to say, really? <laughs> yeah, so her product is sold all over. Um, and so some of the colors did did change slightly. And the graphite is definitely more of a darker, warmer charcoal color. So you're just putting that wax all over. Oh, yeah. And uh, honestly, I can hear that brush. You're not worrying about... I'm not being careful, and I'll even apply... Usually when I'm removing my wax, it doesn't take a lot of elbow grease, but I'll apply extra pressure on this one just to show that the transfer really is. So I'm just going to... Yeah. Not that I'm super strong, but I'm going to put all my force <laughs> behind it. Stop it, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Even on these um, smaller detailed areas, I'm putting a lot of pressure on there, and it's really on there. So that's awesome. That really is awesome. Um, I'm I'm waiting and I'm hoping somebody's gonna post a question. Did Hannah lay the piece down to put the transfer on? I did not. No. I actually cut it into sections, so I got it. Um, we we did a time lapse video that we'll need to post, uh, but I got it in the placement where I wanted it. I cut with some scissors around these areas, so this was one section I did, and I got it taped up. We did another video of where I used the box cutter technique, so I took my box cutter and sliced around the drawers, and then just really applied it from there. That time lapse video, mm -hmm. um, I know at one point we were doing some other activities and you said you were going to spice it, but is that something we could just throw up onto YouTube and then yeah. tag it yeah. as a comment once we're done so people can actually Absolutely. just click on it? And and it didn't take you long at all. Well, actually, you did the time lapse of painting, I think. No. You did the transfer. Oh, good. She has a much better memory than I do. That looks great. I love this piece. This would make such a cute little wine bar or coffee bar or I love it in the uh, front entrance of a foyer. Oh, yeah. I think this would look great now, but it would look fantastic in the fall with some like gourds and pumpkins and I don't know. Just it's just I love it. It's it's Let's definitely that. rustic and masculine. I think so. Yeah. One thing I will say about waxing is that you really want to have good lighting if you do it in my house where I don't have good lighting and then like you want to move it to a different room, you'll probably notice some areas that you may have missed if you did not have good lighting. Because right now our shop has really good lighting so I can see every little place that I'm missing. It makes it a little bit easier. I had a customer once, do you recall, she was doing it in her basement. And she had missed some spots, and I had mentioned to her about the quality of lighting. And I think she had got offended a little bit because I talked about the lighting, but it really isn't meant, it's truly, um, I think, something you need when you're doing this. Yeah, it's kind of like painting a wall. You know, you really need good lighting because if you're putting a second coat of white paint on a white wall, you need to be able to yeah. see those nuances, those slight little differences. Um. The hardware on this, yeah. what were we going to do with that? Anything at all, or are you just... Well, I was just going to put it on and oh. show. What was this, right? Oh, and it had this little guy. Yeah, I don't know if I like that anymore. No? We can get something smaller. Should I 
show off the transfer. Was there a handle on the door, on the cabinet door? Just like a little... Uh, yes. Do we have those? On the inside of the cabinet. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm hoping anyone else out there have any questions. Rick's, or actually this is, um, Marianne says she loves the warm wood tone on top. Well, thank you because <laughs> we, we had a debate on that. Um, but I, I was like, uh, yeah, I will make the call. I think I really, I felt strongly on it. And I like the wood because I figured, you know, we're going to show it through everywhere else. I don't know anymore. I don't like that it blocks the transfer. No. It's such a nice transfer. I say let's get maybe a, a clear glass or something yeah. maybe. Yeah, something smaller. Yeah, we can do that. We'll figure that out. We could even... So you got about 32 people watching you at the moment. Are you, uh, does it make you... <laughs> you goofball. Something like that. You know? Oh, yeah, I like that idea. Totally. That was creative. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, so next week again, next Friday, we're gonna go to Hannah's house. Hannah painted her piano and she did a transfer on it. And we will you'll decide which top coat you're gonna go with based on the sheen. Did you decide already? I think I'm going to go with clear finish. Okay. And you typically would just use wax, I'm guessing, yeah. at home. Yeah, but definitely. we... We, we want to show you guys the different options. And I feel like clear finish gives a little bit more of a versatility because it starts out as a nice satin sheen. And then if you decide you want something glossier, you can just keep adding coats until you get to the point that you want. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't know if there's anything else you want to share. I mean, I so, so let's recap. Um, today was, I guess, uh, one of two videos on regarding doing a top coat. You want to stand over there for a second? Um, and for this week's, we just chose to use Annie's clear wax, mm -hmm. um, chalk paint wax over the transfer. Um, the other options, which are always available, is using artisan enhancements either clear top coat sealer or clear finish we're going to showcase that next week and then i also think that we should do a video using annie's lacquer something with a lacquer which is more of a penetrative top coat it's might not to the wood grains maybe we just be a little more careful and do a sealer first hmm. a lot of people refer to it as like a sealer sandwich so seal your wood with something and then paint, and then if you're going to use the lacquer, it won't grip onto the wood and pull those woods in. But here's the thing. Um, the only other thing, I don't know yet for sure if the lacquer is actually um, a viable option. We need to test that. Because it's a penetrating top coat, it could pull that off. So stay tuned. We'll put a Facebook event out there so you can um, make sure you schedule it. Or better yet... I think you want to grab that paper yeah, and then bring it on back and so we'll put a Facebook event however Courtney always does this part. yeah but you can do it if you want to stay informed stay informed <laughs> <laughs> if you want to stay informed on things that are happening in the shop or you want to get notifications on when the Facebook lives are going to start you can text the word chalk paint and you want to make sure it's all one word and all lowercase because your phone will try to autocorrect it. And you're going to text it to the number 74121. Like that's so, the phone number? Yeah, just put that in the spot for the phone number. It's not seven or ten digits, but it will still work. It'll go through. I get messages from Subway all the time for a number <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> so it'll work. Um, I'll text you reminders of when the Facebook Lives will start. If we are out of a certain color, we'll let you know when it's back in stock. So it's a helpful okay. notification. And let's show them this little chicken vase yeah. thing here. I mean, if you love Mackenzie Childs, I just saw this. I just think that is the cutest thing. Yeah, we could customize it for you. Do a little checkerboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much is this thing? 48. 48. So, hey, if you're interested in this, call our shop. We can ship it anywhere. What's this? Is this part of it? No. Oh, so you can put whatever plant you want in there. It's about a foot tall, I would say, by uh, fifteen inches, maybe wide. Yeah, total. It's so, cute. okay. Anything else? I don't think so. I'll see you next week at my house. See ya.